the pits are hairy okay <laughs> if you are new to my channel my name is Ohima. welcome if you are a returning subscriber <laughs> this is the long-awaited update of me using glycolic acid on my pits this is that infamous glycolic acid okay this is all that I have used so far. I do use it on my face as well as my armpit, but still I have like over half more to go. This thing can last. Okay, so four months ago, I posted a video called I tried glycolic acid on my armpits and it did this instead. Yes, I actually wanted to try the glycolic acid for the lightening benefits so that my armpits can look not as dark as they are or were so that I could, it could look good so I could be more confident with picking up my arms you know a lot of comments a lot of comments some people have used it and found some really good benefits out of it and some people have used it and found some really bad side effects out of it now before I actually decided to use this I did watch a video from a board certified dermatologist that I linked down below in that original video and I'm also going to link that video here as well. I did meet another dermatologist who also told me some recommendations. Both dermatologists will be linked down below so definitely definitely check out their channels on this specific issue as well as other recommendations that you can use if you don't want to use glycolic acid or if your skin is too sensitive and you use glycolic acid and, and, and it didn't work for you. Now, this is what I did that I wanted to share with you. You don't have to do the same thing. I am also not a professional medical professional, so this is just experimentation. Okay, so do this. Do this at your own risk, not because I'm telling you to do it. Okay. Okay, so if you want the update on me putting glycolic acid on my pit, if you want to know whether or not I'm still using it, and if you want to know whether or not I still recommend that maybe you try it in the right way and see if it works for you, then keep on watching. So before we jump into this thing, the pits are hairy, okay? <laughs> the pits are hairy and they need to be shaved or waxed or whatever. I need to go out and wax it, okay? I'm using the Salon Perfect Hard Wax at Home Kit. I've been using this for a while since they launched it and I actually use it in between waxes like when I'm feeling too lazy to go to the wax drop. I put some of the hard wax into the cup that it comes with. Then I put it in the microwave. I don't know how long I keep it in the microwave for. I just put it in after every two minutes I take it out and, and mix it to make sure that everything is getting the same amount of heat and once I feel like it's liquidy enough I make sure that it's very very hot and very liquidy because the trek from my kitchen to my bathroom it's long and I don't want it to dry down and get hard before I get to use it. And then I let it sit for a little bit more because I don't want because I don't want to burn my skin. Okay. And if I feel like it's getting a little too thick, that means it's cooling down too fast. I run downstairs, heat it up again, and come back. It's a hassle, yes, but it's at home and it's in my, the convenience of my own home. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> this is how I put it on. I'm scared. Like I know it's gonna hurt, and I know it's armpit. And people are like, oh, armpits don't hurt, but how can you? It hurts. It hurts me. Okay, so just uh, just <laughs> now that the pits are waxed, let me show you what they look like now, and then I'll show you how I use the glycolic acid. I don't know what they looked like before. Like I honestly, I honestly don't remember what my armpits looked like before. I still have some of the wax residue, so just ignore that. It's not gonna come off until I shower. But this is what this is what my armpits look like now. It's not as dark as it used to be, and I don't know that the color have, has changed in any way, shape, or form. But I do know that I'm more confident picking up my arms. I don't know why. I'm just I'm not so shy about it anymore. Like it used to be a time where I'm like I don't want to pick up my arms because I just don't want to do it. But now I don't mind it. Maybe because I feel better about it. But yeah, I still use the glycolic acid. However in the summer months i rem i remember whenever i started getting hotter and i was leaving the house that the glycolic acid does not really prevent me from sweating right so i realized that i would sweat and by the end of the day you know i'm 
kind of musty. If I don't go out, my armpits don't sweat. And if I'm inside, it doesn't smell because there, it doesn't sweat, right? But then if I go out and it's hot and, you know, I sweat, then it's going to smell. So what I started doing was if I know that I'm going to go out based on some of these comments that I've seen under my post, I will make sure to use my African sapo or sponge. This thing exfoliates your skin really, really well. And when I put soap on it, I put it directly on my armpit. Like I don't wash my body and then wash my armpit. I put soap specifically so I can wash the pits, right? And I make sure that I scrub it really, really well so that all the residue of the glycolic acid can leave my armpits and I don't put anything on until the next day or the next morning when I shower and then I put my deodorant on. This is to make sure that the glycolic acid is completely off my skin so that I don't get a reaction to it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because on the original video, there have been comments from people telling me that they use glycolic acid and then I guess they decided to use deodorant and they got a very bad chemical burn or they got very bad rash or a very bad reaction. One comment from Sherwood199917 says, if you're using this on your armpits, it should not be used daily for those complaining about irritation after using aerosol sprays well it's kind of clear why it's happening glycolic acid can cause irritation and sensitivity especially if used frequently if you then apply an aerosol spray which contains alcohol to the area that has become sensitive of course it is going to get inflamed if you choose to use glycolic acid it needs to be in the lowest concentrations okay that is one such comment somebody said they used it and it worked really well, but I don't know if they use deodorants or aerosol, aerosol deodorants on it. I don't use aerosol deodorants because I just can't, I can't spray. It. And I, I don't like the fact that I have to spray it and I smell it or like, I feel like I'm inhaling it. I don't like that. I don't know. I just, I prefer the, 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 the stick form or the gel. And I prefer the gel because, you know, I can control where it's going. I don't have to inhale the fumes and I don't know that's what I use but I also uh, but I also make sure that my armpits are free of glycolic acid before I use it if you're somebody who's never used glycolic acid before like the comment said definitely go for a lower dose of glycolic acid on your armpits and, and also on your face if you're going to use glycolic acid do not go out in the sun especially in your pits because if you're going to go to the beach your pits are going to be exposed to the sun glycolic acid will make your skin extra sensitive to the sun so skip it during the day put it on at night make sure you're washing your pits before you go to before you go out or before you put any kind of deodorant on i'm not going to just limit the irritation to aerosol deodorants i'm going to limit i'm going to say it's for all deodorants okay i don't want you to do something that's going to cause more harm than good because if your skin gets irritated or chemically burned it is going to get darker and that's what we're trying to get away from before we discovered that glycolic acid also also has some kind of a deodorizing effect on the skin okay now that being said i am still using it i used it last night today i didn't put anything on my pits because i wanted to show you what they look like um without anything on i did shower already and i am going to be putting my secret deodorant on it's the gel kind and that actually does not irritate my skin i haven't had any rashes any burns none of that okay i did talk to a dermatologist when i was on the panel for youtube and she also does not like glycolic acid on the armpit she did say however that she would recommend a benzoyl peroxide acne body wash for your body obviously to help like control the amount of bad bacteria that cause smells and like odors and stuff so if you're somebody who doesn't want to use the glycolic acid there are a lot of different products that you can use on your pit that will one limit or minimize the amount of smell that comes out of your pits I don't care how much deodorant you use sometimes the breakthrough that breakthrough sweat 
If you're somebody who has like that whole body odor, like you shower and within a few hours you find that you're smelly, definitely look into that peroxide um, acne body wash. I will also put some other body washes that will help you just minimizing the bad bacteria on your body. I will tag the products right here. So definitely click that view products tag. Now that being said, this is my update on the glycolic acid on the pits. I'm not upset with what they look like. I will never put glycolic acid on my armpit and then put deodorant on top of it because I read the comments, okay? I read every single comment that came under this video and some people put the glycolic acid on and then they put their deodorant on. Bad reaction, okay? If you want to know of your do's and don'ts of using the glycolic acid, I am not an expert at this. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on it. I'm going to give you what I do that works for me. But what I'm going to tell you to do that's going to help you know the do's and don'ts is to watch the two dermatologists that I've tagged down below. And also go down below in the comments of my first video and read the comments. Read people's experiences of using the specific products. It will tell you whether or not you should or shouldn't try it. Some people have tried it trial and error and have figured out how to use it so that it doesn't irritate their skin, especially if they have sensitive skin. I do take breaks. Sometimes I use it twice a week. Sometimes I use it once a week. Sometimes I use it five times a week. I don't generally use it every single day of every single week. It is a very powerful product. Okay. Just because it's liquid, just because it's light doesn't mean that it's not, it's a it says glycol. It's an acid, people. You have to treat it with extreme caution and prejudice, okay? I will always, 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 always recommend that you do a patch test to make sure that your skin is not too sensitive to this product and that you can actually use it, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Love you lots, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't look at my ashy hands. Bye. <laughs>